Hello everyone, this is Amit. One of the common questions that people ask when they start learning HTML is when they try to insert an image on a HTML page, often the image do not show up in the web browser. So we are going to take a look at five different common issues where the HTML page does not show the image in the web browser. And these are when the image is in the same folder, when it is in its own images folder, or if the image that you are trying to show is in different folder than your HTML file. And then we are also going to look into some of the, the recommendation or best practices uh, when you are trying to show image on HTML page. By the way, if you haven't uh, checked my channel page, please uh, visit the channel page. So if you like the content, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and uh, just click on the bell icon if you want to get notified. All right, so let's go back. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Notepad++. Again, I have many, many videos on my channel page uh, about learning Notepad++, so make sure you check that out. By the way, I'm also going to share uh, the folders and the files and the image that I'm going to show in this tutorial. And so make sure that you check that out. I'm going to post that on my GitHub page, and I'm going to post a link in the description or somewhere on this video. So make sure that you download that folder uh, so that you can follow along. And so... Uh, the folder that we are going to take a look at is this HTML hyphen images folder. Now let's quickly take a look at this. So it has a pages folder and it has assets folder. So if I go under pages, I have index.html. Uh, this is the same file that I just showed right at the beginning of this video. And then we are going to modify this particular file. And then there is uh, this test.png. This is the image that we are going to use to work through different problems and try to solve those problems. We also have images folder under which I have the same file. And then if I go to pages, if I go one level up, if I go to assets, under images I also have these file. And so we'll try different uh, different ways. And so let's go back to our uh, index.html. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to open with Notepad++. Right, so here is the, the basic HTML code uh, and the actual image tag is right here. So if you remember, I have about five different places where I have a broken images. Now this is a basic level of uh, HTML and so you, if you are already a, a advanced uh, level HTML developer, you may find this uh, easy. So again, this is for a beginner's level HTML coding, all right? And so let's go and first of all, Let's see if we can actually show the image if the image is right in the same folder. So let me go back to my folder. And let's say I would like to uh, use this test.png, which is right in the same directory as the index.htm. So it is very easy to actually uh, link this uh, image. All you have to do is just uh, type the name of, if you have index.htm and a lot of uh, JPEG or PNG file, it, it doesn't look very good. And so it's a good practice to put it in its own, in its own images, right? A folder. Now, in this case, uh, the folder is right here. But what if the folder is maybe one level up or two level up? So, for example, if I go one level up here, and if I go to assets, images, and let's say I want to refer to one of these images, okay? So here is that example, image in the images folder, one level up, right? And so in order to go one level up, you have to type dot, dot, slash. And so dot, dot, slash takes us right here. Okay, sorry, right here, right? And then we need to specify the path. So it'll be assets, slash, images, slash, test, dot, png. Uh, let me go back uh, because it, it might be tricky earlier on. So imagine that this is the file that I'm working on, right? Index.html. And if I want to go to the one level up assets, images, and test.png. So here, I'm going to go one level up by going here. And that is signified by dot, dot, slash. And then I'm going to go to assets, images, and test.png. Uh, let me change the, the case for this because that will come a little later. Okay, so yeah, this is the file that I'm trying to refer to. And so that's what this dot dot means. Dot dot means go one level up, go into assets, go into M images, and go to test.png. So let's save, and let's go here and refresh. 
Okay, so you can see it is showing up right here and it looks good. So I'm right clicking and going to inspect. And if I hover, I should be able to see assets, images and that, that folder. Okay, so if I hover here, you can see it's under assets, images and test.png. Okay, now so far we looked into different path. Now uh, in our case, we only had to go one level up, right, uh, from here. It is possible that your your file that you are or HTML file that you are editing may be quite buried. You know, it's like two or three level up. So in all all those cases, every time you want to go one level up, you just have to type dot dot slash, right? And so this means that go two level up, and then find asset folder and so on. So in our case, we don't need to do that. It's just one level up. All right. So the next part uh, that are more sort of recommendations or best practices is try to avoid spaces in HTML uh, image name uh, because that can cause issues. So for example, if I have, let's say, I'm going to copy this path. And if I go to that folder, I have test2, test underscore 2. Let me put it test space 2, right? And so instead of test dot png test space to now this may work because uh, many web browser can handle some of these spaces but it, it when you put this uh, html file on the web server if it depending upon what kind of server it is this may or may not work and so it is a best practice to avoid any spaces in the filing so just to show let me refresh and you can see it it did show up and if i right click and do inspect you will see it's it's referring to test space to but in a best case, uh, I would avoid any spaces. So if you do want to have a longer file name, you can use underscore or hyphen. So underscore or or you can do hyphen, right? And so let's do underscore. I'm going to save. If I ref refresh, it should break, right? Because there is no folder called test underscore two. And so let me go there and let's change back to test underscore two. Okay, and now if I refresh, you will be able to see that, right? The other thing that, that is also one of the uh, a good practice is to avoid a different cases when you refer to the image name. And so for example, if I'm referring to this same file, but if I change the cases, right? Uh, it's all in, uh, in caps or uppercase, and let's refresh it. And so it is showing me fine right now, but as I said, depending upon where the web browser and where the files, uh, your HTML file are going to be, the case may matter also, uh, especially on Unix servers, uh, the web servers, these case sensitivity can cause an issue. And a lot of times people have the images not showing up because of these kind of things. And so it's better to keep it same cases. Uh, ideally, it's better to keep it lower cases. Uh, and in that way, you can be pretty safe, uh, you know, uh, and not not have to worry about you know what will be the case of the name and so on and so we actually looked into five different ways here uh, and we learned how we can fix these if i refresh it this was the older page so if i refresh it, it should show up all the images right and so i hope you guys learned something new and i hope you will be able to fix issues uh, when your images are not showing up in html page uh, if i missed any cases or if any other you know problems uh, please just uh, comment in a comment section below and i'll try to answer you individually and, and and if you have enough content i may make another video about it as well and so i hope it was helpful if it did please click on the like button and and consider subscribing to my channel if you like the content thank you very much bye